It's National Cheeseburger Day. And I haven't done this in quite some time, so I thought it would be beneficial for everybody for me to teach you how to make the greatest cheeseburger in the history of mankind. What is that cheeseburger? The world-famous Jesse Kelly cheeseburger. How famous is the cheeseburger? Well, there is a best-selling book out there, The Anti-Communist Manifesto. I don't know if you've heard. And it has a little secret surprise in the back because the book's a bestseller. Of course, as I knew it would be. And yet in the back of this bestseller is the recipe for the world-famous cheeseburger. So how do you do it? Let's do this. Anyone can do it. Because I can do it. Anyone can do it. I'm not even a good cook. Go to the grocery store. You're at the grocery store. Go to the bun section first. The bun, it's not a side item, okay? I'm mortified by how often I see people in the hot dog hamburger bun section just walk by and just grab it, just grab the first pack and just throw it in the cart. What? Finger the buns. Stop, take some time, and finger some buns in the bun section until you get the perfect set of buns. Put those in. Off to the burger section. The fattiest meat you can buy, ground beef. Fattiest you can buy. We have 7327 here in Texas. Yours is probably 80, 20, whatever. This is not health food night. You're going to need that extra fat. Trust me on this. Just stay with me. From there, you have your bun, you have your burger. The cheese section. You're not making a salad, a charcuterie board. This is a cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers have American cheese. It's the melty, delicious cheese for your cheeseburger. Take your fancy goudas and provolones and stuff like that. That's for another time. American cheese slices. Grab those. You're off to the seasoning section. You need garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic powder. Trust me on this. Any kind of general seasoning, you could use Lowry's or Nature's Own or whatever kind of general seasoning you like. It's not that important. And then to the hot sauce section where you will purchase chipotle Tabasco sauce. Chipotle Tabasco sauce. Did I say regular Tabasco? Did I say any hot sauce you feel like? No, I didn't. Chipotle Tabasco sauce. Just trust me on this. Now, go buy your things. Go home. Don't worry about lettuce and tomato. I'll explain in a little while. Onions, all that stuff. Don't worry about that. You must cook the world-famous Jesse Kelly burger on a flat top. But before you get to that, you have to mix your ingredients. So dump your burger in a bowl, tray, whatever. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of general seasoning. A boatload of Chipotle Tabasco sauce. Don't stress the heat. Most of the heat cooks off. Put more than you think you need. I'll use roughly half a bottle for a pound of burger. I use a lot of Chipotle Tabasco sauce. Dump it all on, on the burger and then mix it all up. Get all your burger stuff. Then start peeling off your burgers, all right? Now go over to the flat top. Maybe you use a griddle. I use a Blackstone griddle out back. You can use a frying pan on the stovetop. Careful, the splatter is going to be bad. You could put a frying pan on your grill, but you need a flat top. That flat burger, make it flatter. And then make it flatter some more, and then make it flatter again. A good burger is a flat burger, not a thin, not a thick burger. Sizzle it in the flat top. Hot, make sure it's nice and hot. Sizzle, flip. The second you flip it, cheese goes on. Cheese must be melty. As soon as it's done, pull it off that flat top, put it on the bun. You cook Jesse Kelly burgers one at a time. The burger deserves your full attention. Now, the burger's sitting there on the bun. You've got the meat, you've got the cheese, you've got everything that's sitting there on your delicious fresh bun. But what about the ketchup? What about the lettuce? What about the tomato? Well, you're not making salads. You're making cheeseburgers. So you don't need any of those things. No condiments, no fruits, no vegetables. Throw the other half of the bun on there and enjoy the greatest cheeseburger in the history of mankind. That is how you make a world-famous Jesse Kelly burger. Happy National Cheeseburger Day to you and to me.